Fox 66 News with Sean Lafferty, meteorologist Tom Atkins, and Craig Smiley with sports. You're watching Fox 66 News, first at 10. Starting up and moving forward, a new program hopes to accelerate Erie's high-tech business future. Good evening, Erie's startup industry getting a major boost tonight thanks to a program put on by the Erie Innovation District. Right now it's about creating products, but officials hope very soon it's about creating good jobs here. The story is new at 10 o'clock. Tierra Braddock joins us now live in the control room with much more about the effort and what it could mean for Erie going forward. Tierra. Sean, it was announced today that five startup companies will have bases in Erie thanks to the Secure Erie Accelerator program. Erie is making strides to become a hub for startups due to the Secure Erie Accelerator program hosted by the Erie Innovation District. So it really gave us a lot of resources that we needed to take it to the next level. Reed Douglas is with the company Quema, which is one of the nine startups that were selected to be in the EID's Accelerator program. Quema connects people in immediate danger to help through an app and safety bracelet. Quema and four other startups have decided to make Erie their home base for their companies. But we've really found that this is a great community and people do look out for each other and want to help each other, especially when we're talking about safety. Weather check monitors structures in severe weather using technology and lets people know when they are in need of an insurance claim. They have decided to lay down roots in Erie as well. And we had some sort of hard-held beliefs around what the insurance sector thought about our product. And so um, being close to a big corporation like um, uh, the ones in Erie, specifically in the insurance space, um, really kind of helped motivate us to come here. The nine companies were the first wave of startups to go into the accelerator program. But coordinators say this is just the beginning of what's to come. We would like to get to t three sets to 10 every year. So think about 150 attracted companies over five plus years. CEO of Erie Innovation District Carl Sanchek added that in the 10 weeks that the startups were in the accelerator program, they generated around $2.4 million in growth. This also marks the first year anniversary for the Innovation District, Sean. Yeah, it'll be interesting now to track those companies as they grow here in Erie. Exactly. All right, thank you, Tira. Let's start the weather now. Cool, cloudy, rainy again. But we're in for a change. Meteorologist Tom Atkins has your Fox First forecast. Tom? Thanks a lot, Sean. Uh, big change in the temperatures, humidity, and uh, even the cloud cover. Let's take you out to Erie International Airport. Delta flight safely in from Detroit. <laughs> I don't know what's buzzing around those lights, but it's not snow flurries, even though it's cooler out here. I guess some bugs are still hanging around in the cooler air. Uh, currently at that airfield, we are at 65 degrees with a north-northwest wind off the water. Look at the dew point down to 48. It was 68 this time last night. Nothing on Storm Tracker, so as we take you through the night and into lunchtime tomorrow, still some clouds around, maybe some patchy fog inland overnight, but 7 a.m. temperature in Erie, 51, with 40s elsewhere at your wake-up time. Sun and clouds, 66 at lunchtime for tomorrow. More on the forecast later in the show. Sean? is taken into custody following a drug bust at a Cory home tonight. 31-year-old Louis Ekstrovich is behind bars on charges of manufacturing methamphetamine. Cory City Police responding to a reported roommate fight at 311 and a half Delaware Street in Cory. Upon further investigation, a one-pot meth lab was found inside the home. The scene was then turned over to the state police to bring in their clandestine laboratory team to clean up the materials found inside that home. State police are investigating a drive-by shooting in Warren County. The shooting happening just before 5 o'clock this morning in the 1400 block of Fiddler's Green Road. That's in Eldred Township, Warren County. Police say an unknown suspect shot from or near his vehicle into a home, then fled the scene. The suspect hit a 15-year-old boy who was taken to the hospital. Anyone with information is urged to contact state police at the Warren Barracks, 814-728-3600. A violent school fight reportedly left one student unconscious on a classroom floor. Now a shocked parent is demanding answers. Ron Hilliard has more on what happened. He stood up and I stood up and said, I'm not fighting you because I don't want to get in trouble. And then he started throwing punches, picked me up and threw me to the ground and got back on the ground and started punching me again. 
That's how a 15-year-old Erie High freshman describes his version of a fight Tuesday morning. A classmate recorded the moments that the teen was reportedly knocked unconscious. I felt alone, like nobody cared if I was getting beat up or getting punched. It appears that someone approaches and pulls away the other teen, but the father of the teen that was knocked to the ground says the fight went too far. The video clearly shows about 45 seconds of him being assaulted and no adult, no police, no one, no one intervenes whatsoever. Sean Meyer says his wife got the call that their son needed to go to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a concussion and injuries to the nose. Meyer says activity on social media added insult to injury. Somebody recorded the video, shared it to their Facebook page. He's getting um, laughed at. Kids are making a mockery out of what happened. It's not okay to, for people to bully other kids because you don't know what those other kids have been through. It doesn't get you anywhere. It gets you three places, jails, institutions, or death. In Erie, Ron Hilliard, Fox 66 News. We reached out to the Erie School District. They're not talking about this specific incident, but do say that they have practices to encourage positive behavior and prevent fights. The district official saying last year, Erie High School implemented a program focused on reinforcement of positive behavior. They say they also have peer mediation and mentorship groups like the Blue Coats. If there's ever an issue, I would encourage any family or any student, if you're having a, a, an issue within that building, to seek out a behavior intervention specialist, seek out a SAP counselor, a counselor, even assistant principal. Those are all important people. And the district says you can anonymously report bullying or other incidents on the school district app. One of three inmates charged in a prison attack learns his fate in court. Today, Antoine Shepard was in Erie County Court for sentencing. Shepard was originally accused of trying to kill a fellow inmate, Roscoe Brown. Investigators say two other inmates were involved in the attack. The crime happening at SCI Albion in September 2016. Last month, Shepard pleaded guilty to assault by prisoner. Today, the judge giving him an additional four to eight years in prison. A second defendant charged in the attack is expected to be sentenced later this week. A man charged in connection with a traffic stop is now heading to trial. 28-year-old Ryan Nichols was in Harbor Creek District Court today for a preliminary hearing. Nichols was arrested with one other person over the summer after police pulled them over for what began as a traffic stop. That's when authorities found an AK-47. They also say there was a 22 caliber rifle and two pistols all loaded. Police also say they recovered drug paraphernalia from the car. Today, Nichols waiving his right to a preliminary hearing. He'll face several charges at trial, including carrying a loaded weapon. That controversial grand jury report outlining sex abuse allegations made against 300 Pennsylvania priests goes back before the courts. State Attorney General Josh Shapiro arguing before the Supreme Court that the entire report should be released to the public. But also in court today, attorneys for nearly two dozen priests whose names have been redacted in the report. Two priests from the Erie Catholic Diocese are among those named in the report and redacted. Those attorneys are arguing that their clients would be unfairly tarnished if their names were released. No word on when a ruling might be made. New data shows drug deaths in Erie County are down drastically compared to last year. So far, the Erie County Coroner's Office has reported 66 drug-related deaths in 2018. The number, while still large, doesn't come close to what it was in 2017. By late September last year, there were already 111 overdose deaths reported. First responders with emergency care say they're not surprised by the drop. So when we actually look at our statistics, we've seen a slight decrease in the amount of overdose calls that we're going to, and also the Narcan administration. I know that's uh, certainly been a hot button issue. Um, someone they were with 15 minutes before is now dead. Someone who they shared that drug with, they did not die, but their friend did. And that has become some type of wake up call for. Other factors could play a role in the reduced number of deaths, one being the DA's efforts to track down and penalize dealers. After an intense meeting today, the Airport Authority Board decides the fate of the airport's canine program. Elena LaQuatro reports. Standing room only at the Erie Airport Authority meeting. Dozens voicing their support for the airport's explosive detection canine named Smoke and the canine program, like Douglas Persian, committing to donating $10,000 on behalf of his business. I want to see Smoke stay, so um, 
we're going to help out as much as we can. Erie Regional Airport Executive Director Derek Martin saying that canines must get recertified every year. Smoke hasn't been certified since his arrival at the airport in 2014, a major liability. The question remains as to why. Lieutenant Jason Morrell, Smoke's handler, says he was told it was a budgetary issue. For budgetary reasons, I was mandated to just train during my shift on duty at the airport. Director Martin saying it has nothing to do with budget. It's in the budget. I, I don't know where that came from. It's never been a, a, a budgetary issue. Why didn't they bring this certification up years ago? You know, all of a sudden it comes up. And there's something underlying here that I, I don't understand what's going on. After two Two hours, the board unanimously voting to keep the canine program. In deciding to keep the program, the airport authority will assemble a special committee to make sure that smoke and any future canines are properly certified. The board also voting until proper certification is complete, the canine unit is forbidden from leaving the airport property to undertake official duties. Elena LaQuatra, Fox 66 News. Coming up on Fox 66 News, a third woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault comes forward. The latest on her story. Plus, recovery mode with their animals now on the mend. A shelter cleanup is underway. And taking shape, the best sand sculptors find out what they can do with 20 tons of sand. Hurt on the job? Is the company doctor forcing you back to work even though you're still injured? For a free consultation, call 1-800-9-FOR-EDGAR, your workers' compensation lawyers. And like Edgar always says, there's never a fee unless we get money for you. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, please look away. Get an all-wheel drive Alfa Romeo Giulia with zero down, only $379 a month. This is a huge advancement in treating colon disease. This robotic system gives surgeons enhanced precision and control, reducing complications and recovery time. And the place it's available is St. Vincent Hospital. This is a giant leap forward in breast cancer detection. Images are captured from multiple angles, creating a more complete picture, helping doctors catch cancer earlier. And the place making it available to more women is St. Vincent Hospital. Heard on the job? Collecting work comp for four months or longer. Call us now to see if you're entitled to a lump sum of money. For a free consultation, call Edgar Snyder & Associates at 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. And remember, there's never a fee unless we get money for you. News is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat. Not everyone is built the same or has the same style. Just like the Fiat family. With the compact flair of the Fiat 500, the legroom of the 500L, the allure of the 124 Spider, and the size and strength of the all-wheel drive 500X, which you can own for just $19,995. Auto Express Fiat. It's not just a crossover, it's a Fiat. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. Coming up, the aftermath of Hurricane Florence continues to affect the East Coast. One local group will work to help tomorrow. That's just ahead on Fox 66 News. A third woman is now accusing Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Kavanaugh again denies the new allegations, saying they're from the twilight zone. The president, meanwhile, sticking by his nominee. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard reports. This is one of the highest quality people that I've ever met. And everybody that knows him says the same thing. In 
a sworn affidavit, Julie Swetnick says she was gang raped in 1982 after being drugged with what she believes were quaaludes. She names Brett Kavanaugh as one of the boys who would spike the punch at parties so girls would lose their ability to say no. Attorney Michael Avenatti released Swetnick's allegations, which also claim Kavanaugh was verbally abusive and physically aggressive toward girls. Earlier this week, Judge Kavanaugh categorically denied sexual misconduct allegations. That's totally false and outrageous. Never done any such thing, known about any such thing. Kavanaugh released his high school calendar, which he believes is exculpatory evidence. It shows Kavanaugh was grounded in May 1982, but it also puts him at Beach Week, which Swetnick specifically named. These allegations are absolutely breathtaking. Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley says lawyers immediately reached out to contact the accuser. And Senator Flake says he hopes tomorrow's hearing will give them guidance on the confirmation vote. Up or down, yes or no, however this vote goes, I'm confident in saying that it will forever be steeped in doubt. That was Lauren Blanchard reporting tonight. A hearing with Kavanaugh's first accuser is scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Christine Blasey Ford will reportedly share her story to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Then Judge Kavanaugh will defend himself. Nearly two weeks after Hurricane Florence made landfall, swollen waterways are still flooding homes and businesses in the Carolinas. The floodwaters are slowly receding in some areas. FEMA's director says, though, it could, it could take weeks. Florence has killed at least 47 people in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. One estimate says the hurricane caused about $44 billion damage. If that's accurate, it would put Florence among the top 10 costliest U.S. hurricanes. Well, as people try and pick up the pieces, volunteers from all over, including Erie, headed south to help out. Among them, the executive director of the local chapter of the American Red Cross. This is Pam Macy as she was leaving Erie back on September 13th. She's back now and earlier on Jet 24 talked about the challenges even 120 miles inland. We're going to be live at the Red Cross to help raise money. Getting to the headquarters, there was many roads that I had to use GPS and ways to get around because of, of the flooding just in Durham. And you can help with the recovery. A Red Cross telethon will be held tomorrow on our sister station, Jet 24. Jill McCormick will be live at the Erie County chapter of the Red Cross throughout the 5 to 6.30 newscast. Back here at home, it's back to fall. We'll talk about how long the cool temperatures will last next. Together, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Allegheny Health Network share insights from cancer treatment data to work towards shortening treatment times and improving results for you and your loved ones. Highmark and AHN, together for health, together for you. We employ nearly half of all Pennsylvanians. We're the engines that drive the economy. And now we have a governor helping us build a stronger future. Tom Wolf created a one-stop shop for small businesses to cut through red tape and help entrepreneurs grow. And where previous governors tried and failed to eliminate the capital stock tax, Tom Wolf got it done. We're getting stronger. We're revved up and ready to grow. Because we have a small business governor working for us. At Toyota, we know the journey is as important as the destination. That's why no detail was overlooked. RAV4 is perfect for your adventures with plenty of cargo space and available all-wheel drive. And with all these active safety features standard, we're always along for the ride. Now lease a versatile RAV for only $249 a month or buy with 1.9% APR for 72 months or take $3,000 cash back. RAV4, what drives you? Toyota, let's go places. Together, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Allegheny Health Network connect a care manager with your doctor to simplify your care and give you peace of mind. Highmark and AHN. Together for health. Together for you. Weather is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Kia. I used to drive a Volkswagen and now I drive a Kia. It's time for Crazy Nines. Buy a Kia Forte for $12,999 or lease for only $99. Bucks. $99 bucks a month. I want to see you in a Kia. My family used to drive a Ford, but well, now, now we drive a Kia. Lease an all-wheel drive Kia Sorento for only $249 a month with zero down at Auto Express Superstore. I want to see you.
from your weather authority. Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Start you out with a downtown view right up State Street to the Bicentennial Tower. And uh, we thought we'd take a different tack here. You can see the Sheraton over there, but we can also switch cameras to our HumesForCars.com cam. And that one's going to give you the Sheraton again and the Bicentennial Tower from 100 Peach Street atop uh, Orthopedics Sports and Medicine and even over here to the Bayfront Convention Center. So everywhere along the Bayfront, cooling down. Uh, all of us a lot cooler than what we were last night. And as we take a look at what has caused this, it was a cold front which dumped some pretty good rain around the area. And here's a beautiful picture from our weather watcher in Northeast Joe. He's got a late season flower with the rain dripping off it on this close up shot. So there was even uh, more rain to the south and east of Erie uh, than. Even over here, we'll show you some stats in a minute. Right now, take a look at your nearshore marine forecast. And again, a pretty nice day. How many times do you see this with uh, waves on the low side and winds light and variable? Very unusual. So a nice day to be down by the water or just about anywhere else. You can see that there may be some cloud cover to start off, but certainly we're looking at some pretty improving conditions for tomorrow. Let's go to your allergy report. And again, Dr. Gallagher continuing with a consistent look there. Uh, absent are the trees and grasses. Weeds still pumping out pollen this time of year at moderate and molds are high. And as we uh, go into the rest of the numbers today, our high was actually the temperature just flatlined at before the front came through late last night and early this morning, 74. We've been as low as 64 at Erie's airport, about a half inch of rain. And uh, other stats for you. First of all, a sunset shot. Now, this is from a drone. So thanks, Kenny. About 200 feet into the atmosphere in Mill Creek as the sun goes down over the lake. Pretty sh stuff there. Now, here's the rainfall I was talking to you about. Youngsville in Warren County at 2 inches. Meadville, 2 and 3 quarters. Quarry, 1.8. Canadota Lake in Crawford County, 1.7. So soaking rains. Dwindling daylight, much cooler fall temperatures. It'll be mainly dry through the upcoming weekend, and then next week we're going to warm up again. The temperatures warmest by that warmer water, 64 at the pier, dropping to 59 from Joe in Northeast, and 54 Adam Ripley in Waterford. Further south, 54 from Patty and Meadville, and from the Warren Fire Department, but a lot cooler 50s here and 40s and 50s on your dew points, and that's all because of a northeast or northwest flow there. So the big deal is we get a little shot of cooler air, and then, as we said, as we go into next week, we're going to warm up. Let's check out your forecast for tonight. Patchy clouds, lows in the 40s away from the lakeshore, about 51 downtown and close to the lake. A mix of clouds and sun, a seasonably cool fall day tomorrow. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. Same story tomorrow night, 40s and 50s. Dry weather expected. And on your extended forecast, Friday 69, another cool front goes through. Saturday we go down to 60. Sunday 65, and then the warm-up. Monday 75, still dry. Showers and storms Tuesday, and even warmer after that warm front, 81 a week from today. Check out all the SkyCam views at yourerie.com. That is weather for now. Back to the desk, Sean and Mike. Thank you, Tom. Mike Fenner here now with a uh, first look at sports, and uh, we're heading to the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of soccer going on this afternoon. Later on this evening, of course, one local matchup. A uh, couple rivals here in town collegiately. Take a look at that. Edinburgh and Mercier going at it on the women's side, plus Gannon men's soccer and much more up next in sports. Wherever your journey takes you, across the highways and byways, along the avenues and boulevards, one thing is clear. All signs point to your local Honda dealer. Right now, drive the unmistakable 2018 Honda Civic or the new redesigned Honda Accord. Stop by your local Honda dealer or visit shophonda.com. Why walk when you can fly? Tap into your inner eagle. Yingling, traditional lager. Spread your wings. On the next Big Bang Theory, robbers ransack the apartment. Oh, God. It's all right. 
Satan, take my comic books. And Sheldon uses his detective skills. Here are my prints, so you can rule me out as a suspect. What about me? I'm sorry, Leonard. It's too early to discount the possibility of this being an inside job. To drop the dragnet. Intruder alert. Wonderful security system if we're attacked by a school of tuna. <laughs> Next, Big Bang. Tomorrow night at 7 on Fox 66. Closed captioning is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Mazda. For years, Mazda has been the best kept secret in town. Until now, introducing Auto Express Mazda, where Superstore pricing meets craftsmanship and innovation, where family owned meets sky active technology. Make it a Mazda CX-5 zero down, $269 a month. Make it a Mazda. And now, Mike Finner with sports. Welcome on in. It's time for sports. We begin tonight on the pitch. The Gannon men's soccer team looking for their fifth straight win. And in order to do so, they need to take down the California University of Pennsylvania Vulcans at McConnell Family Stadium. Heading over to GU, where the Golden Knights were in good shape. Coming out of the break, a little flyover during the action as well. Gannon leading 1-0 in the second half. Sam Thornton with a cross. Sets up a great chance. Just coming up wide, though. Later in the half, Baron Kilich for Joe Knox. That'll do, and that'll be a tap-in for the second goal of the game. Gannon with a 2-0 lead, and they'll take it by a final of two to nothing as they take down the Vulcans moving to five and three. Let's take a look at another score here. Mercyhurst in action at home. Earlier this afternoon, they fall three goals to one to the Salem Tigers. Now Gary Kagiavis and the Edinburgh women's soccer team visiting Mercyhurst. Mercyhurst prep grad Sidney Johnston, a freshman starter on defense for the Lady Lakers. First half, nil-nil. Great save here from Edinburgh's Anna Velker on the free kick and header attempt from the Lady Lakers. Still in the first half, Mercyhurst going on the offensive. Freshman mid Lauren Casey takes off and breaks the scoreless tie with that goal. Both teams score once in the second half, and Mercyhurst gets the win. Two to one, your final. High school girls soccer over at Gus Anderson Field tonight. McDowell hosting Bradford in Region 6 action. Lady Trojans ahead by six goals. Sophomore midfielder Kylie Cross makes it a seven-goal lead here as she puts that one and buries it home. And then just a couple minutes later, really not too much long, longer after that first one, it's Cross doing it again. And this time making it look easy. An 8 to nothing lead for the Lady Trojans. McDowell with the 9-0 shutout win over Bradford across town. Vet Stadium, Erie leading Warren 2-0 early in the second half when we arrived. And Warren's Kira with Torsen with a chance here that goes just wide to the right and uh, near the 25 minute mark in the second there. Erie junior keeper Lauren Dietrich was busy all second half, made some impressive stops in goal, and Erie preserves the lead to hang on to win. 2 0 is your final. Other games tonight, Villa Maria defeats Harbor Creek 5-3. Mercyhurst prep over Girard 7-0. General McLean over Fairview 2-1. Northeast beats Corey 2-1. And Iroquois over Eisenhower 2-0. And we will be talking uh, local college football. Some uh, important nuggets to talk about coming up later on in the show regarding the uh, Gannon football team. They get ready to take on Edinburgh this weekend. First local rivalry uh, between all three schools. All right, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you in a few. We'll have a look at today's top stories with your Erie in 66 seconds. Also coming up tonight, Paying It Forward. This week's Pay It Forward money goes to pediatric neonatal care. Find out who pulled the high card. Our Ram Power Days are going on right now here at Hume's Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram. The 2019s are here and more arriving by the hour. So all 18s have to go now. Save up to $14,000 and lease this Ram 1500 Crew Cab 4x4 Bighorn Edition for only $2.59 a month. That's right, only $2.59 a month, zero down. Don't miss out. Get to Humes today and save thousands. Only nine miles south from Mill Creek Mall and Peach Street in Waterford. Life is full of adventure, excitement, and of course, surprises. At Ort Insurance, we want to protect the life you live here in Erie, and planning for the unexpected is what we do best. If you've recently moved, bought that new car, or had any other big changes, it's important to update your policy. At Ort Insurance, you can count on us to make change easy. That's our promise to you, one we've kept since 1975. Ort Insurance, 868-3400. For those who think, those who create, those who have big ideas, like really, really big, some would call them crazy ideas. 
For those who have been told no, no chance, and not you. Those who never miss practice, even at 6 a.m. Those who break a sweat, break hearts, and break records. For those who work harder, smarter, faster, there's Edinburgh University. For those who strive. Start now at edinburgh.edu. Sports is brought to you by Hurdle and Brown Physical and Aquatic Therapy. When your doctor says physical therapy, you say Hurdle and Brown because it's your choice. And our five locations make that choice easy. Stairtania, Summit, Harbor Creek, Warren, and the West Erie Plaza. For any of your physical therapy needs, choose any of our five locations. Treating everybody like family. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. One person is taken into custody following a drug bust at a Corey home this afternoon. That headlines tonight's top stories. Jill McCormick. Live in the newsroom now with your Erie in 66 seconds. Jill. Yes, yeah, on Cory City Police responded to a reported roommate fight at 311 and a half Delaware Street in Cory tonight. Upon further investigation, a one-pot meth lab was found inside the home. 31-year-old Louis Strovich is behind bars on charges of manufacturing methamphetamine. The scene was turned over to state police to bring in their clandestine laboratory team to clean up the materials found inside the home. The grand jury report outlining sex abuse allegations made against 300 Pennsylvania priests is back before the courts. A.G. Josh Shapiro arguing before the Pennsylvania Supreme Court that the entire report should be released, but also in court, attorneys for nearly two dozen priests, including two from the Erie Diocese, whose names are in the report but have not yet been released. Those attorneys are arguing that their clients would be unfairly tarnished if those names were ever to be released. And new data shows drug deaths in Erie County are down drastically compared to last year. So far, the Erie County Coroner's Office has reported 66 drug-related deaths in 2018. In 2017, by late September, there were already 111 overdose deaths reported. Live in the newsroom, Jill McCormick with your Erie in 66 seconds. Sean? All right, thanks, Jill, for updates on those top stories and breaking news anytime. Log on to YourErie.com. Check out our updates on Facebook and Twitter, too. Neonatal and pediatric care benefiting from this week's Pay It Forward. Several people showed up at the Allstate Agency in Lawrence Park for a chance at collecting hundreds of dollars. As David Belmondo reports, the winner said the money is going to help kids. The meeting place for this week's Pay It Forward was the Allstate Agency on Main Street in Lawrence Park. 500 Pay It Forward dollars on the line. $300 from Lakeside Autos Pay It Forward, $100 from VFW Post 470, and another 100 from Nyleen Bainey Parsh Allstate Agency in Lawrence Park. Several people were there, and when it came time to pick the high card, you got the ace. Oh, very good. David Sayers pulled the ace and was excited to be able to pay it forward to the Children's Miracle network. We headed to the Walmart in Harbor Creek, a strong supporter of the organization, where we learned the store is wrapping up its annual Children's Miracle Network campaign. That's something that uh, Walmart strongly believes in, and being a Walmart employee, I do everything I can to contribute and do my part. Nyleen Bainey Parsh says she's also doing her part in supporting the community by being able to help pay it forward as well. Being an Allstate agent, um, I'm able to give back to my community and especially here in Lawrence Park and even Harbor Creek. So um, this opportunity presented itself in something different, um, and I'm happy to be a part of it. And for the Walmart store manager, this will help the store's goal for CMN. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we appreciate it. Obviously, the donation as well as uh, so from everybody, right, all parties, it's exciting. They're kind of wrapping up their end-of-the-year campaign for the Miracle Network, and the extra $500 is just kind of that end-of-the-campaign push. For this week's Pay It Forward, I'm David Belmondo, Fox 66 News. A local animal shelter under quarantine due to a highly contagious virus will soon be back open for business. Orphan Angels Cat Sanctuary experienced a feline distemper outbreak. The shelter taking swift action, enacting a quarantine on the entire shelter and any exposed cats. But this week, professionals are on site cleaning and sanitizing the entire building wall to wall. And we're using hospital grade uh, sanitizer, uh, so it will certainly take care of panleukopenia. And we chose that because it is hospital grade and recommended by our veterinarians. And good news here Berlin says all the exposed cats are now healthy and doing great. The shelter will be operating as normal by next Thursday. 
Fall is here, but in many spots across Erie County, it still looks a lot like summer. Experts predict fall foliage will start later than normal this year. Many factors contribute to when the leaves change colors, things like temperature and sunlight. It's not just the summer months that have an influence on fall foliage either. Researchers say weather over an entire year can play a big role. They say once the temperatures dip, the leaves will start to change. You'll see more shades of red, purple, and brown and yellow. This week in Living Well, part two of our conversation on strokes, and, and really we're going to focus tonight on um, the advances and, and the kind of care that's available in Erie. Chair, UPMC Hammond is the region's only designated comprehensive stroke center. All right, Trevor Finney, you'll be in with us. Dr. Finney, I appreciate it. We'll be right back after a look at the day on Wall Street. News is brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. I got to get out. Okay, I have one more box and my suitcase. All right. Okay. Visit CountOnHighMark.com to see why so many people count on blue. You can barely see it, but in this man's ear is life-changing technology from Ericsson Hearing Center that allows him to hear again. And now, so can you. Ericsson Hearing Center needs your help in a new study to evaluate patient satisfaction with the latest Oticon hearing devices. To participate, you must be over 18 years of age, have hearing loss, and be less than 100% satisfied with your current hearing devices. Participants will be eligible to purchase their trial technology at a significant discount. Space is limited. Call Ericsson today. You may know us as Elmwood Gardens, Manchester Commons, and Oakwood Heights, but we're also part of Presbyterian Senior Care Network, the region's largest aging services provider. For the last 90 years, Presbyterian Senior Care Network has been making aging easier for the lives of older Americans in Western Pennsylvania. Join us as we honor this journey and all of the countless moments that shape each of us. Presbyterian Senior Care Network, making aging easier for more than 90 years. Share the moments with us at srcare.org slash moments. News is brought to you by Bianchi Honda. This time of the year makes us all think about family and the importance of keeping them safe. Just like my mom did over 30 years ago by choosing Honda. You can lease the 2018 Honda CRV LX all wheel drive for only $197 per month. That's peace of mind for only $197 per month. I'm Jason Perico for Bianchi Honda, and I promise to help you find the right Honda for your family. Now for Living Well on this Wednesday evening. Joining us again is uh, Dr. Trevor Finney. We appreciate you coming in. Uh, we've had a conversation uh, last week and, and now about stroke. And before the break, you talked about Hammett being a comprehensive stroke center. I I explain what that is and why that's important. Sure. So what a comprehensive stroke center means, it means that we have 24-7, 365, advanced neurologic care, the highest level of neurologic care. It actually puts us in the top 5% of hospitals in the country when it comes to stroke care, mm -hmm. meaning that four strokes, we are in the same breath as Mayo Clinic, Cedars-Sinai, and Johns Hopkins. Obviously some huge names in the sure. medical field, and, and it's impressive to have that comparison for a hospital sure. in a city the size of Erie. Yeah, and your local community at UPMC Hammett has stroke care comp comprehensible to all those. Now, I know that last week we talked about how much has been done to cut down the amount of time between recognizing a stroke and actually getting a patient into treatment. I take it that's something that the hospital keeps track of. It's something that we keep track of 
and we're continuously working to make better. We're actually gold elite status with the Get With The Guidelines, which is the highest ranking that you can get as far as efficiency goes for treatment of stroke with the best outcomes. How has that happened? I mean, how long has it taken to get to this point? There has to have been an emphasis on it for a while. You know, there has been an emphasis for as long as I've been around for years and years and years. We started with TPA back in 96, and ever since then, we've just been working on a daily basis to get better and better. Let's talk about some of the other neuro services that are available. Um, you know, obviously you work at UPMC Hammett. Sure. Let's talk about UPMC Hammett. Sure. So. In the hospital, we have neuroradiologists, neurointerventionalists, neurohospitalists, as well as neuropsychologists. And on an outpatient basis, we have specialists who specialize in multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and other movement disorders. Okay, so the bottom line in all of this is that, uh, again, as we said last week, if you think that there is something wrong, if you're wondering if you're having a stroke, 911. 911. 911 right away. The faster you get in, the faster we treat you the better your outcome will be. All right, fantastic. Dr. Trevor Finney, once again, we appreciate it. My Last pleasure. couple Thanks weeks, some having. great information. Great. Thank you, sir. Right, thanks. We'll be right back. For more information on tonight's Living Well topic, log on to our website, yourearing.com. And here's another popular topic. We've already talked about it in the news tonight, uh, leaf color. So uh, what are the two main things that cause leaves to change color? We will have that fork or that answer and your forecast next. At Bonnells, we truly believe that you deserve the very best. That's our commitment to you every day in everything that we do. At Bonnells Auto Glass, you'll always get our very best. From free estimates to our highly trained and certified technicians to on site chip repair to auto glass replacement and professional tinting. Make Bonnells your first call on all your auto glass needs. You deserve the very best Bonnells Auto Group. Murder, gangs, terrorism, and Ron D. Nicola. As a California lawyer, D. Nicola helped a Crips gang leader, a man who aided a leading sponsor of terror. And D. Nicola represented a murderous Mexican drug lord who kidnapped, tortured, and killed one of our DEA agents. Even the judge in the case called the torture and murder an enormously heinous crime. Yet D. Nicola chose to represent him. Ron D. Nicola, wrong choice for us. I'm Mike Kelly, and I approve this message. Listen up, you might learn something. Welcome to Fox Funny Friday. Whoa. <laughs> Real? Do crazy. Tim Allen is back. Great day for me. As last man standing moves to Fox. Am I wrong or is it like way better on this network? <laughs> <laughs> then they're rebels in retirement. Hello, little lady. It's the premiere of The Cool Kids. <laughs> oh, Lord, we're getting pulled out. Relax, act like we have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Fox Funny Friday starts this Friday on Fox. News is brought to you by Interstate Mitsubishi. It's brand new and a classic, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. This CUV delivers direct injection, turbocharged performance with super all-wheel control. Its dynamic design comes in great colors. Technology includes blind spot warning, lane change assist, and rear cross traffic alert. Lease the all-wheel drive Eclipse Cross. Only $279 a month, zero down, sign and drive. And watch it turn corners and heads. From your weather report, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Start you out in the West County, Bob Ferrando, Ford World Cam on Main Street in Girard here. A cool, crisp air coming off the lake there. A little breeze on the American flags there. Nice view of that downtown area as we have switched from the muggy, mugginess last night to the cool, crisp fall air of tonight. Uh, ducks on the pond or geese on the pond. Thanks, uh, James, from down in Espyville. Southwest Crawford County. Nice to see the migration of the fowl after some very foul weather earlier today. We're breaking into some really nice weather. Lake forecast, look at this, light and variable winds, waves two feet or less, partly sunny skies, water temperature at 68. And uh, that's a good indication of the entire forecast area for tomorrow because your highs are going to probably be pretty close to what those water temperatures are uh, right now. Absent are the trees and grasses, weeds still hanging tough 
and so are the molds. Thanks, Dr. Gallagher, for that. Our high temperature reached earlier this morning at 74. Normal is 68. Low so far in Erie has been 64. Normal low is 52. As we said, about a half inch of rain in Erie and some more cities on the map here. Edinburgh, almost an inch and a half. Jamestown, PA, three quarters of an inch. Pittsfield in Warren County, almost an inch. And Chandler's Valley, also in Warren County, almost an inch and a half. So soaking rains go through. And then you get the sunset. Thanks, Lee, one of our workers here in the videography department. Production, a beautiful shot there with the drone. Headlines, 11 hours, 56 minutes of daylight. Much cooler fall temperatures for about four days. And uh, dry weather mainly through the weekend and for about four days. And then we start to warm right back up when we get into the work week. Now, right now, uh, Chaz in North Erie, or excuse me, Joe in Northeast, 59 degrees. Sandy and McCain at 58. Paul and Albion down to 53. So is Laura in Edinburgh. Uh, Janet in Cambridge, 55. Lee and Nancy, Conneaut Lake, 56. Temperatures down to 52 from Kirk in Pittsfield. So you combine that with dew points in the upper 40s and low 50s. Not only have we cooled down, we've also dropped the humidity. The winds are lightening up, so let's uh, do you some maps in motion. High pressure in control, moving across, giving us this nice air across our area tonight. Another nice day coming up tomorrow, Thursday. Now, Thursday night and Friday, the winds actually shift back to the south, and on Friday, we'll get up in the upper 60s to near 70. This cold front not expected to bring much, if any, showers, but it will reinforce the cooler air as we go into the weekend, and that means Saturday's down back near 60, and Sunday about 65 before it really warms up next week. Patchy clouds, much cooler tonight, 40s away from the lake, low 50s close to Erie and the lake. Tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds, high temperatures, mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow night, another nice dry night, 45 to 52. Extended forecast, 69 Friday, back down to 60 Saturday, back up to 65 Sunday, and then 75 Monday, next chance of rain, Tuesday with some thunderstorms, 77, and Wednesday, chance of early showers, and 81. So summer returns, and you can check out that forecast on our website, yourerie.com. Two things that help leaves change color. I'm going with daylight and cooler temperatures mainly. Okay, we've, we've, you've got one out of two, buddy. Okay. Um, anything that reduces sunlight okay. is going to stop the chlorophyll process, which, of course, keeps leaves green. So dwindling daylight at a lower sun angle in the fall. Makes sense. There you go. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Coming up, we're heading back to sports. Big local college football matchup this weekend. Bit of a different look on one side of this rivalry. Mike, ex Mike Fenner explains. Announcing heavy-duty discounts during Champion Ford's Winter Ready SUV and Truck Event. Purchase a brand-new Ford Escape S and save up to $6,000 from MSRP. Come to Champion Ford in Erie and Edinburgh. At Cleveland Clinic, we're focused on the future of our patients today. With innovative cancer treatment options and life-saving clinical trials. It's what makes us one of the nation's best in cancer care. Cleveland Clinic provided me with the tools and the people I needed to save my life. When you choose Cleveland Clinic, you'll have a personalized care plan from a team specialized in treating all types of cancer, even the most rare and complex. I felt that I was in the best place. I had my oncologist, a surgeon, and then I had a radiation oncologist. They explained every step of the way. They really helped me to overcome the diagnosis of cancer. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with cancer or need a second opinion, call Cleveland Clinic, 844-839-2278. I want to be somewhere where I have a doctor who has the experience and the resources to find something else that might help me. Cleveland Clinic. Every life deserves world-class care. Announcing heavy-duty discounts during Champion Ford's Winter Ready SUV and Truck Event. Purchase a brand-new Ford F-150 Super Crew and save up to $13,000 from MSRP. Come to Champion Ford in Erie and Edinburgh. News is brought to you by Allegheny Health Network. I, like, grabbed your leg and I was like, okay, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Okay. But you gotta keep this way. So you need you, right? All right, I can do that. Three, 
five, seven, walk, one, three, hey! There, seven, pretty, bump. Five, six, seven, Call 814 Connect to schedule an appointment at St. Vincent Hospital. And now, Mike Finner with Sports. Welcome on in. It's time for sports. Some big changes for the Gannon football team as the Golden Knights play one of their biggest games of the season on Saturday at Edinburgh. Former Cathedral Prep star and collegiate transfer, Colgate transfer, Alex Greenwalt has confirmed to Fox 66 News that he has walked away from the Golden Knights football program. The Division I wide receiver transfer started in Gannon's first three games this year, catching 14 passes for 203 yards, both good for second on the team. He left the program this past Friday. Of course, missing last Saturday's road loss at Clarion. Also today, Go Erie reporting that Gannon redshirt sophomore starting quarterback Jimmy Keefe has suffered a broken collarbone and will miss the rest of the season. Keefe was injured during that Clarion game this past Saturday. It'll be Jason Dombach replacing Keefe in the lineup. The six foot two inch signal caller Keefe threw for 658 yards and four touchdowns so far this season. And uh, Keefe, of course, taking the reins at quarterback last fall when starter Zach Phillips went down with an injury. So the Gannon Golden Knights still in search of their first win of the season. They'll make the short trip down I-79 to take on Edinburgh this Saturday. It's a 2 p.m. kickoff of the Borough homecoming game at Sox Harrison Stadium for the 3-1 and one Fighting Scott. Speaking of injuries, one of the big matchups on the high school gridiron this Friday night will feature Fort LaBeouf visiting General McLean for the second year in a row. The Bison have lost a top playmaker on offense midway through the season. Last year, it was senior quarterback Corey Shields tearing an ACL. This year, well, two weeks ago against Meadville, junior running back Ben Turry suffering a dislocated right elbow when a defender landed on top of it during a scrum. Turry ran for nearly 400 yards and seven touchdowns earlier in the season as LaBeouf's lead back, although he'll likely miss the remainder of this season. He's looking forward to coming back stronger as a senior next fall, despite the disappointment. I remember just getting up, not being able to move my arm. It was like shock. Couldn't really feel my arm or anything. And I was like, I was a little scared. And then it just, the emotion just hit me. I was upset I couldn't play. And I knew it wasn't a good injury. At first, it wasn't too bad, but on the ride to the hospital, it got worse and worse. And uh, try, them trying to pop back in, it's not a good pain at all. But I mean, it wasn't too bad at first. And I, a lot of support and everything, so it makes it a lot better. And best of luck on that recovery, no doubt. Fort LaBeouf takes on General McLean this Friday night, 7 p.m. from Linden Field over there in the big town they call McCain. The Steelers are back to work this afternoon after a well-deserved day's rest yesterday. That included full participation for offensive linemen David DeCastro and Marcus Gilbert, as well as defensive back Morgan Burnett. But now it's time to gear up for the Baltimore Ravens once again in primetime. <laughs> The mood in the Steelers' locker room the last two weeks was, well, to say the least, unsettling. However, after earning a win Monday night and avoiding any more off-the-field drama, at least for now, it appears the Steelers may have braved the storm of the early season adversity they faced. Black and gold responding in a tough spot. And for a second week in a row, it's a chance to display to the nation what they're all about. I think we just play good when our back's against the wall. Um, it, we just, it's just coming off of two weeks that we didn't feel like we played well. Um, knowing everybody's going to watch us. Uh, we have a really talented team. We have a really good team here. So, I mean, any week we go in there, we feel like we should win. It's fun. Great to have the opportunity to get back on the field this weekend against a divisional opponent. Um, we know what these guys bring whenever they come to Pittsburgh. They're going to bring it all. And uh, they coach have them ready. Very important. Um, you know, every game is important, especially when it's the next game. So, um, we're looking forward to the challenge. It'll be fun. Of course, uh, it'll be Sunday night football, 8:20 start between the Steelers and the Ravens back home. Second home game of the season for Pittsburgh there at Heinz Field. And then, uh, of course, second divisional game for the second year man, James Conner, mm -hmm. here. And uh, so, you know, second time around as a starter. Did well against Cleveland in that first AFC North very, game. Very, very well. well. Almost 200 yards, uh, total yards there yeah. and two touchdowns. So, uh, first time as the starter in the feature back against the Ravens. Those two always seem to be a field goal or less apart. And last game was only decided by one point last December. So, we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you, Mike. Coming up, the best on the beach this weekend. The top sand sculptors around compete for ultimate bragging rights. Together, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Allegheny Health Network share insights from cancer treatment data to work towards shortening treatment times and improving results for you and your loved ones. Highmark and AHN, together for health, together for you. Pain wants to stop you, block you, 
like that's gonna happen. Icy hot. Icy to dull, hot to relax. Rise from pain. Icy hot. Billions of mouths, billions of problems. Dry mouth, parched mouth, cotton mouth, there's a TheraBreath for you. TheraBreath, oral rinse and lozenges, help relieve dry mouth using natural enzymes to soothe and moisturize. So you can breathe easy. There's TheraBreath, a Walmart. For those who think, those who create, those who have big ideas, like really, really big, some would call them crazy ideas. For those who have been told no, no chance, and not you. Those who never miss practice, even at 6 a.m. Those who break a sweat, break hearts, and break records. For those who work harder, smarter, faster, there's Edinburgh University. For those who strive, start now at edinburgh.edu. I worked at GE for eight years. They laid us off. The jobs went abroad. We were lost. The government said these people were on their own. It was the hardest part of my life. Then Ron Dina Cole stepped in and he took on the federal government. He got the government to back down. He got us the benefits of the health care that we deserved. Stuff that we earned. Oh, the politicians, they talked a lot. But they didn't get anything done. Ron Dana Cola did. Ron Dana Cola is a fighter. He is a Marine veteran. He's the kind of guy you want working for you. I'm Ron Dina Cola, and I approve this message. Together, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Allegheny Health Network connect a care manager with your doctor to simplify your care and give you peace of mind. Highmark and AHN. Together for health. Together for you. If you're afraid of confined spaces, Six Flags St. Louis has a frightening Halloween contest made just for you. Maybe. It's called the 30-hour coffin challenge. Six contestants will be chosen. You have to stay in your coffin from 1 p.m. on October 13th to 7 p.m. the following day. You can bring a friend, but that friend has to leave when the park closes. If you win, you get $300 and a prize package that includes season passes. Oh, and yeah, you get to keep the coffin. Finally on Fox, no matter how good you are at building sandcastles, the chances are that you're not a match for the sculptors showing off their skills in Virginia this week. Maybe you are. But 32 com competitors from 11 countries are facing off at the Neptune Festival's International Sand Sculpting Championship in Virginia Beach. The official building process starts on Friday, and it goes right through Sunday. They're not joking around here. Uh, each competitor will start out with a mere 20 tons of sand. The sculptors, uh, sculptures, will be available for viewing until October 7th. Tom has a uh, last look at the forecast, and uh, at least today it hasn't been uh, beach weather. <laughs> Not today. Not it's today. coming back next week, though, but for now it's fall, and it's 52 as you look at uh, Mallory Lake in Edinburgh. Nothing on the radar. Low temperatures tonight, 41 to 51 degrees. That right, sounds good. Thank you, Tom. Have a great night and a better tomorrow.